क्वेश्चन नंबर वन द डिरेक्शन रेशियोज ऑफ अ लाइन पासिंग थ्रू द पॉइंट्स ए हैविंग कॉर्डिनेट्स वन टू सिक्स एंड पॉइंट बी माइनस फोर फाइव एंड जीरो आर ऑप्शन ए माइनस वन थ्री माइनस फोर ऑप्शन बी माइनस सिक्स टू माइनस फोर ऑप्शन सी माइनस फाइव थ्री माइनस सिक्स ऑप्शन डी माइनस टू माइनस थ्री माइनस फाइव नाउ वी नो दैट द वैल्यू कॉर्डिनेट्स ऑफ पॉइंट्स ए आर एस फॉलोज वन टू एंड सिक्स एंड दैट ऑफ बी आर माइनस फोर फाइव एंड जीरो सो द डिरेक्शन रेशियोज ऑफ ए बी वुड बी माइनस फोर माइनस वन फाइव माइनस टू एंड जीरो माइनस सिक्स सो आंसर वुड बी माइनस फाइव थ्री एंड माइनस सिक्स सो द करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज ऑप्शन सी क्वेश्चन टू डिरेक्शन को साइंस ऑफ लाइन थ्रू द पॉइंट्स थ्री फोर फाइव एंड फोर फाइव सिक्स आर ऑप्शन ए वन 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 ऑप्शन बी रूट थ्री रूट थ्री रूट थ्री ऑप्शन सी वन बाय रूट थ्री वन बाय रूट थ्री वन बाय रूट थ्री एंड ऑप्शन डी रूट थ्री बाई टू रूट थ्री बाई टू एंड रूट थ्री बाई टू ओके द डिरेक्शन रेशियोज ऑफ लाइन थ्रू द पॉइंट थ्री फोर एंड फाइव एंड फोर फाइव एंड सिक्स आर इक्वल टू वन वन एंड वन सो द डी आर वुड बी वन वन एंड वन सो द डिरेक्शन को साइंस वुड बी वन बाय रूट थ्री वन बाय रूट थ्री एंड वन बाय रूट थ्री सो आर करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन सी क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री द डिरेक्शन को साइंस ऑफ ए बी वी नीड टू फाइंड द डिरेक्शन को साइंस वेर द पॉइंट कॉर्डिनेट्स ऑफ पॉइंट ए आर टू माइनस थ्री एंड वन एंड पॉइंट बी फोर्टीन फाइव माइनस थ्री आर थ्री बाय रूट फोर्टीन टू बाय रूट फोर्टीन एंड वन बाय रूट फोर्टीन ऑप्शन बी थ्री बाय रूट फोर्टीन माइनस वन बाय रूट फोर्टीन एंड माइनस टू बाय रूट फोर्टीन ऑप्शन सी माइनस थ्री बाय रूट फोर्टीन माइनस वन बाय रूट फोर्टीन टू बाय रूट फोर्टीन एंड ऑप्शन डी थ्री बाय रूट फोर्टीन टू बाय रूट फोर्टीन एंड माइनस वन बाय रूट फोर्टीन नाउ फर्स्टली वी नीड टू फाइंड द डिरेक्शन रेशियोज ऑफ ए एंड बी ओके सो दी डी आर वी नो हाउ टू कैलकुलेट इट सो वी वुड डिरेक्टली कैलकुलेट दैम टू माइनस फोर्टीन माइनस थ्री माइनस फाइव वन प्लस थ्री यू गेट दैम एज माइनस ट्वेल्व माइनस एट एंड फोर फर्दर सिंपल थ्रू थ्री टू एंड माइनस वन नाउ फर्दर वी वुड गेट इट एज थ्री स्क्वेर प्लस टू स्क्वेर प्लस माइनस वन स्क्वेर दैट इज इक्वल टू रूट ऑफ फोर्टीन सो आर करेक्ट आंसर वुड कंप्राइज द फॉलोइंग थ्री बाय रूट फोर्टीन टू बाय रूट फोर्टीन एंड माइनस वन बाय रूट फोर्टीन सो आर करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन डी क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर इफ अ लाइन मेक्स एंगल्स फोर्टी फाइव डिग्री सिक्सटी डिग्रीज एंड सिक्सटी डिग्रीज विद द एक्स वाइव एंड जेड एक्सेज रेस्पेक्टिवली then its direction cosines are option a 1 by root 2 1 by 2 1 by 2 option b 0 1 by 2 1 by 2 option c 1 by root 2 0 1 by 2 option d 1 by 2 0 and 1 by root 2 so let the direction cosines of the line be denoted by l m and n so we would get their values as cos of 45 cos of 60 and cos of 60 so their further values would be 1 by root 2 1 by 2 and 1 by 2 so a uh, correct answer is option a question number 5 a line making angles 90 degrees 60 degrees and 30 degrees with the positive directions of x y and z axis then its direction cosines are option a 1 by 2 root 3 by 2 0 option b 0 1 by 2 root 3 by 2 option c 1 by 2 0 root 3 by 2 option d root 3 by 2 1 by 2 and 0 okay so let the direction cosines of the line be denoted by similarly l m and n okay they would be cos of 90 cos 60 and cos 30 so we get the fall the values are 0 1 by 2 and root 3 by 
so our correct answer would be option b question number 6 a line makes angles of 90 degree 45 degrees and 45 degrees with the positive directions of x y and z axis respectively then its direction cosines are option a 1 0 1 option b 0 1 1 by root 2 option c 0 1 by root 2 1 by root 2 option d 1 by root 2 0 and 1 by root 2 okay uh, let lmn be the direction cosines l m and n the cos values would be cos 90 cos 45 and cos 45 so our respective values would be 0 1 by root 2 and 1 by root 2 So the direction cosines would be zero, one by root two, one by root two. So a correct answer is option C. Question number seven. If a line has the direction ratios two minus one minus two, then its direction cosines are option A minus one by three, one by three, two by three. Option B one by three minus two by three, one by three. Option C two by three minus one by three minus two by three. Option D One by three, two by three, and minus two by three. Okay, so let A B C be the direction ratios of the line A B and C. Therefore, the direction cosines would be given by as follows: A by root of A square plus B square plus C square. Similarly, B A square plus B square plus C square, and C as well. A square plus B square plus C square. So the direction cosines would be two by root of two square plus minus one square plus minus two square. So value of b is minus one. Again, we would get it as two square plus minus one square plus minus two square, and out of c would be minus two by Root of two square plus minus one square plus minus two square. So further simplifying this, calculating these values simply, uh, we would get as two by root three minus one by root three, uh, one by three and minus two by three. So our correct answer is option C. Question number eight. If a line has the direction ratios uh, root two minus root five, root two, then its direction cosines are option A root five minus root two, root five. Option B root two by five minus root by five by five, root two by five. Option C root two root five root two. Option D root two by three minus root by minus root five by three, root two by three. so we know that let the direction ratios be a b and c so we know that the direction cosines are given by the given formula a by root of plus b square plus c square similarly for b and that for c as well okay now simply substitute these values here you would get So here we get it as root two by five plus four plus nine. So this is three. So we get next value as minus root five by three and root two by three. So our correct answer is or uh, root two by three minus five by root three and root two by three. So it is option D. The direction cosines of the vector 2i plus 2j minus k is option A 2 by 3, 1 by 3, 1 by 3. Option B 1 by 3, 1 by 3, 2 by 3. Option C 1 by 3 minus 2 by 3, 2 by 3. Option D 2 by 3, 2 by 3 and minus 1 by 3. So we know that you know let R would be 2i plus 2j minus k. we get the value of r mod as follows 
still under root, so we get it as 2 square plus 2 square plus minus 1 the whole square, which is equal to 3. So the direction cosines are x by r and z by r. So that would be 2 by 3, 2 by 3 and minus 1 by 3. So our correct answer is option C. Uh, I beg your pardon, it's option D. Question number 10, the direction cosines of the vector 6i minus 2j minus 3k is option A minus 3 by 7 minus 2 by 7, 6 by 7, option B 6 by 7 minus 2 by 7 minus 3 by 7, option C minus 2 by 7, 3 by 7, 6 by 7, option D minus 2 by 7, 3 by 7 minus 6 by 7. Uh, we know that r is equal to 6i minus 2j minus 3k. So we find the value of mod r which is equal to 6 square plus minus 2 square plus minus 3 square. The resultant value is, is equal to 7. So the direction cosines would be 6 by 7 minus 2 by 7 and minus 3 by 7, 6 by 7 minus 2 minus 3. So the correct answer is option B. Question number 11. The direction cosines of the vector 3i plus 4k is option A, 3 by 4, 0, 4 by 5, option B, 3 by 5, 4 by 5, 0, option C, 0, 3 by 5, 4 by 5, option D, 3 by 5, 0, 4 by 5. Uh, we know that R is equal to our distance vector r okay so it is 3 square plus 0 square plus 4 square which is equal to 5 so simply we would get our direction cosines as 3 by 5 0 and 4 by 5 so our correct answer is option d question number 12 the direction cosines of a line which lies in the zox plane and makes an angle of 30 degrees with positive minus with positive z axis r option a plus minus 1 by 2 0 plus minus root 3 by 2 option b plus minus root 3 by 2 0 plus minus 1 by 2 option c plus minus 1 by 2 0 plus minus root 3 by 4 option d plus minus root 3 by 2 0 and plus minus 1 by 2 okay so let l m and n be the direction cosines of the required plane okay uh, since the line lies in z o x plane the required line makes an angle of 90 degrees with y axis since it makes 30 degrees with positive z axis it makes 60 degrees with the x-axis. So the direction cosines which would we get as L, M and N. Okay, so they would be cos 60, cos 90 and cos 30. So this would be plus minus 1 by 2. This is 0 and plus minus root 3 by 2. So the correct answer is um, option A plus minus 1 by 2 0 and plus minus root 3 by 2. Question number 13. If L, M, N are direction cosines of the line then mi minus L minus M minus N can be only direction ratios of the line, only direction cosines of the line direction cosines and direction ratios of the line neither direction cosines nor direction ratio of the line okay since we know that we would get minus l square plus minus m square plus minus n square equal to 1 we can say that minus l minus m and minus n are the direction cosines okay similarly we also know that we would get minus L by minus 1 
minus m by minus 1 and minus n by minus 1 as l, m and n. So we can also say that the minus l and minus m are also the direction ratios. So our correct answer is option C. If the direction, uh, question number 14, if the direction cosines of a line are 15, 1 by 2, 0, then we get the k, 1 by 2, 0, thus we will get the k as, value of k would be option A plus minus 1 by 2, option B plus minus root 3 by 4, option C plus minus root 3 by 2, option D plus minus 1 by root 2. Okay, so let's solve this, we know that we would get k square plus 1 by 2 square plus 0 square is equal to 1. So we get k square is equal to 1 minus 1 by 4 which is equal to 3 by 4. So the value of k would be plus minus root 3 by 2. So our correct answer is option C. Question number 15. The direction ratios of y axis are option A 1 0 0 option B 0 2 0 option C 0 0 1 option D 1 2 and 0 okay uh, on y axis okay on base basically on y axis the x and z coordinates would be 0 okay so for us on y axis right so our correct answer is option B because here the value of x and z coordinates are 0 Question number 16. Let the point P having coordinates 1, 2, 3, then direction cosines of OP would be option A, 1, 2, 3, option B, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, option C, 1 by root 14, 2 by root 14, and 3 by root 14, option D, minus 1 by 14, 2 by 14, and 3 by 14. Okay, we know that the points of the points of sorry the coordinates of point O would be 0 0 0 right and we are given that of P so that is 1 2 and 3 so these are the two points then the direction ratios of direction ratios of OP would be 1 2 and 3 so now we have to find the direction cosines which we will get as we know the formula right value of R, the value of direction ratios and a square plus b square plus c square so we'll get 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square so we would get it as 1 by root 14 similarly we'll get it for this one and it would be 3 by 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square so it would be 2 by 14 and 3 by 14 so our correct answer is option c Question number 17. If a line makes angles 60 degrees, 45 degrees with the y and z axis respectively, then the direction cosines of the line are option A plus minus 1 by 2, 1 by 2, 1 by root 2. Option B plus minus 1 by 2, root 3 by 2, 1 by root 2. Option C plus minus 1 by root 2, 1 by 2, 1 by 2. Option D plus minus root 3 by 2, 1 by 2 and 1 by root 2. So let us solve this. Let L, M, N be the cos, uh, direction cosines of the line. L, M and N. Okay, so since the, the value of angle of Z axis is not even, so we'll assume it as cos alpha. M would be cos 60 and N would be cos 45. We know that L square plus M square plus N square is equal to 1. So we'll further solve it and we'll get cos square alpha plus cos square 60 degrees plus cos square 45 degrees is equal to 1. Substituting these values, okay, so we get cos square alpha. So we'll get cos 
square alpha as 1 minus 3 by 4 which is equal to 1 by 4 so cos alpha would be 1 by root 2 plus minus okay so the direction so we get the value of l is 1 by root plus minus 1 by root 2 this is 1 2 and this is as 1 by root 2 so our correct answer is option a question number 18 the direction cosines of the line joining the points having coordinates 1 2 minus 3 and minus 2 3 1 are option a minus 3 1 4 option b minus 1 5 minus 2 option c minus 3 by root of 26 1 by root of 26 4 by root of 26 option d minus 1 by root 30 5 by root 30 and minus 2 by root 30 the direction ratios of the line through these points would be minus 3 1 and 4 so the direction cosines would be given by minus 3 under root of okay we'll directly substitute the values of a square plus b square plus c square so further solving this would get minus 3 by root of 26 similarly we'd get 1 by root of 26 and 4 by root of 26 so our correct answer is option c question number 19 a line makes angles of 45 degrees and 60 degrees with x and z axis respectively the angle made by its y axis is either 30 degrees or 150 degrees option b 60 degrees or 120 degrees option c 45 degrees or 135 degrees option d 90 degrees so from our formula we know let the angle made by y axis be denoted by beta so we know that cos square beta is equal to 1 minus 1 by 2 minus which is equal to 1 by 4 so we'll get taking square both the sides we'll get value of cos beta as plus minus 1 by 2 okay so taking inverse of this we get beta would be 60 degrees or 120 degrees so our correct answer is option b question number 20 which of the following angles made by a line with coordinate axes are not possible option a 30 degrees 60 degrees 90 degrees option b 30 degrees 45 degrees 60 degrees option c 45 degrees 90 degrees 45 degrees option d 60 degrees 45 degrees and 60 degrees we know that uh, that cos square alpha plus cos square beta plus cos square gamma cannot be equal to 1 okay so accordingly if we substitute the values here we would get that 30 45 and 60 degrees these values won't be possible so our correct answer is option b question number 21 the sum of the direction cosines of a line which makes equal angles with the positive direction of coordinate axis is option a 3 option b 1 option c root 3 option d 3 by root 2 Uh, we'll know that alpha, beta and gamma would be alpha is equal to beta is equal to gamma which is equal to is equal to 3 times cos square alpha which is equal to 1 which is equal to cos square alpha to 1 by 3 so we know that cos alpha would be 1 by root 3 Similarly, we would get it as 3 cos alpha which is equal to root 3. So our correct answer is option C. 
क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी टू दी अक्यूट एंगल बिटवीन टू लाइन्स हुज डायरेक्शन रेशियोज आर गिवन बाय एल प्लस एम माइनस एन इज इक्वल टू जीरो एंड एल स्क्वायर प्लस एम स्क्वायर माइनस एन स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू जीरो इज ऑप्शन ए पाई बाय टू ऑप्शन बी पाई बाय थ्री ऑप्शन सी पाई बाय फोर ऑप्शन डी पाई बाय सिक्स वी नो दैट एल प्लस एम माइनस एन इज इक्वल टू जीरो एंड एल स्क्वायर प्लस एम स्क्वायर माइनस एन स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो फर्दर वी विल गेट दैट एल प्लस एम इज इक्वल टू एन एंड एल स्क्वायर प्लस एम स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू एन स्क्वायर नाउ सब्सटीट्यूटिंग एल प्लस एम इज इक्वल टू एन एंड एल स्क्वायर प्लस एम स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू एन स्क्वायर विल गेट इट एज एल प्लस एम द होल स्क्वायर सो वी गेट 2lm is equal to zero. Therefore, l is equal to zero or m is equal to zero. If l is equal to zero, okay, then m is m would be equal to n. So here we'll get that as l by zero is equal to m by one is equal to n by one. And if m is equal to zero, then we would get L is equal to n, which would be L by one, which is equal to m by zero, n by one. So the direction ratios of the line are proportional to zero one one and one zero one. So we'll get it as cos theta is equal to zero into one plus one into zero plus one into one divided by Root of zero plus one plus one and root of one plus zero plus one. Further solving this, we get it as one by two. So theta is equal to cos inverse of one by two. Therefore, we get theta is equal to pi by three. So our correct answer is option B, pi by three. Question number twenty-three. If direction ratios of two lines are phi minus twelve thirteen and minus three four phi, then the angles between them is cos inverse of one by sixty-five, cos inverse of two by sixty-five, cos inverse of three by sixty-five, or D, which is pi by two. Now we know the formula of cos theta. So we'll directly substitute these values. Would be five times minus three plus minus twelve by four, twelve times four, thirteen times five, divided by root of five square plus minus twelve square plus thirteen square into root of minus three the whole square plus four square plus five square. Here we get further simplifying. We will get Minus fifteen minus forty eight plus sixty five root two times thirteen and two root two times five. The correct answer is one by sixty five. So your theta would be cos inverse of one by sixty five. So correct answer is option A. Question number twenty-four. If the angle between the lines whose direction ratios are two minus one two and alpha three and five be forty-five, then alpha would be one, two, three, or four. So let us solve this. We know that cos theta is equal to one by root two. Okay, so let's go the other way, and we'll substitute the values. We'll get it as two a minus three plus ten. Okay, divided by root of two square plus minus one square plus two square into root of a square plus three square plus five square. So here we get the following equation: nine times. A square plus thirty-four, which is equal to two times two a plus seven the whole square, which is equal to 
टू टाइम्स फोर ए स्क्वायर प्लस ट्वेंटी एट ए प्लस फोर्टी नाइन फॉर द सॉल्विंग दिस वी विल गेट ए स्क्वायर माइनस फिफ्टी सिक्स ए प्लस टू जीरो एट इक्वल टू जीरो सो सॉल्विंग दिस वी विल सॉल्विंग दिस इक्वेशन वी विल गेट द वैल्यू एज ए इज इक्वल टू फोर सो अ करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन डी क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी फाइव इफ द कॉर्डिनेट्स ऑफ द पॉइंट्स ए बी सी डी आर एस फॉलोज वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सेवन माइनस फोर थ्री एंड माइनस सिक्स एंड टू नाइन टू रिस्पेक्टिवली इन द एंगल बिटवीन द लाइन्स ए बी एंड सी डी वुड बी ऑप्शन ए पाई बाई सिक्स ऑप्शन बी पाई बाई फोर ऑप्शन सी पाई बाई थ्री एंड ऑप्शन डी जीरो so let us solve this we know that the direction ratios of line ab and cd are okay, let's write it ab and cd so their direction ratios would be 3 comma 3 comma 4 with help of the formula would get these values and 6 comma 6 comma 8 so now let's substitute them in our formula where theta is equal to cos inverse Three times six plus three times six plus four times eight divided by root of thirty-four times root of one thirty-six. Further solving this, we get cos inverse of sixty-eight by two into thirty-four. So this will result in the value as zero degrees. So our correct answer is option D. Question number twenty-six. If the coordinates of the points P and Q be one minus two one and two three four, and O be the origin, then option A, OP is equal to OQ. Option B, OP is perpendicular to OQ. Option C, OP is parallel to OQ. And option D, OP and OQ are intersected at angle of forty-five degrees. So we know that we'll get it A one, A two plus B one, B two plus C one, C two is equal to zero. This is by standard, so we'll get OP is perpendicular to OQ. So correct answer is option B. The direction cosines of a vector R, which is equally inclined with axis R, option A one one one, option B minus four by root three. Option C plus minus one by root three and option D minus one by root two. So let us solve this. We know that L, M, N, N be the direction cosines of R. So it would be L is equal to M is equal to N. So we know that L will get it as alpha is equal to beta is equal to gamma. Similarly, we'll get cos alpha is equal to cos beta is equal to cos gamma so we get it as l square plus m square plus n square is equal to 1 so we get the value of l as 1 by root 3 plus or minus so our correct answer is option c question number 28 which of the triplets are direction cosines of a line option a 1 1 1 Option B one minus one one. Option C one one minus one. Option D one by root three one by root three and one by root three. Okay, so we know that L M N are the direction cosines. Okay, now for the triplets, it would be L square plus M square plus N square, which is equal to one. So this condition has to be satisfied, right? So here, this condition will be satisfied with this, so which would be one by root three. Minus right, taking this the other way and we'll get it solved. So our correct answer is option D. Question number twenty nine. Line with direction ratio is one 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 is parallel to x axis, parallel to y axis, parallel to z axis, or inclined, equally inclined to these axes. You know. Uh, We would get the direction ratios as one 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 when cos alpha would be equal to cos 
बीटा विच इज इक्वल टू कॉस गामा विच वुड बी वन बाय रूट थ्री सो हेंस बिकॉज ऑफ दीज वैल्यूज और दी लाइन विद डायरेक्शन रेशियोज आर इक्वली इंक्लाइन टू दी एक्सेस सो करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन डी If the line joining the points two one minus two one minus eight and A B C is parallel to the line whose direction ratios are zero two and three, then A B C would be four three minus five one two minus four. Option C zero three minus two. Option D six two and three. Okay, so let the point A B with coordinates minus two. One minus eight and B B with A B and C since we have to find A B C right. So the direction ratios of the line would be A plus two B minus one C plus eight. Given that A B is parallel to the line whose direction ratios are six two and three, right? So now we know that A plus two is six, B minus one is two, and C plus eight is three. So for the solving this, we'll get the values as A is equal to four. B is equal to three and C is equal to minus five. So our correct answer is option A.